Hello, and welcome to MTG Basics Deck Tech video for Raghavan Nimble Pilferer. I'm Reptile, and I'll be showcasing my personal brew of Raghavan for this video. Raghavan Nimble Pilferer is a 2-1 creature for 1 red, which reads, Whenever Raghavan Nimble Pilferer deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token, and exile the top card of that player's library. Until end of turn, you may cast that card. Raghavan also possesses the dash ability for 1 and red, but this ability is not utilized often in our deck. This deck will be a Voltron build centralized around Raghavan, Raghavan and maximizing the value he provides us when dealing combat damage. In doing so, we lean heavily into artifacts, and more specifically, artifact equipment to provide Raghavan with the ability to reliably deal combat damage. Raghavan also provides us with our win condition, as repeated hits in longer games will eventually pressure life totals or reach the 21 commander damage necessary to win the game. To start us off, Let's first look at some of the artifact equipment we will be utilizing on Raghavan. The equipment we should use should fall into one or more of three categories. Power, Evasion, and Utility. Equipments that fall under power provide Raghavan with the ability to push combat damage through effects like Trample, or by turning our monkey into a large enough threat to deter blocking from other valuable creatures such as other people's commanders. Evasion equipments allow for Raghavan to avoid combat from with other creatures, and often a single form of evasion such as flying or protection from a color will allow us to connect with one or more players in the group consistently. Utility is a broad term, but in this deck utility equipment is mostly used to either protect Raghavan or to draw cards as card advantage is difficult to accrue given our card pool in red. To further aid in maximizing value, creatures that synergize well with either combat or treasures such as Professional Facebreaker or Magda Brazen Outlaw allow us to utilize the treasures we create and gives them more flexibility outside of a mana source. Quicksmith Genius and Academy Manufacturer provide us with card selection and card draw respectively and are valuable pieces once Raghavan is able to reliably deal combat damage. With a sufficient amount of support cards on the board, we are able to generate card advantage and continue to pressure our opponents with more equipment. On a separate Nope. Being in mono red, most of our interaction pieces are limited, but the ones we do have access to allow us to remove key cards which hinder our deck significantly. Stacks pieces such as Null Rod and Tangle Wire can reliably be removed with red's plentiful options in artifact removal, while our access to efficient creature removal for threats like Collector Oof and Dranath Magistrate allow us to continue our Voltron-centered game plan. Alternatively, if Raghavan is ever inaccessible during the match, we are able to pivot to alternate win conditions. Dual Caster Mage and Twin Flame is an efficient and simple combo which is able to win under most stacks pieces that threaten our traditional line of play. Another combo we are able to slot in is Godo Bandit Warlord and Helm of the Host. Outside of its game-winning potential, Godo's ability to tutor for any equipment and put it onto the battlefield has amazing use if Helm of the Host is no longer an option. Helm of the Host is an expensive equipment, but does allow us to potentially double the value gained from Raghavan's combat trigger. Thank you for watching MTG Basics deck tech video for Raghavan Nimble Pilfer. If you have any suggestions for this style of deck, let us know in the comments down below. Stay basic.